Well, what's going on everyone? So I'm back here in the backyard into the carport where I've been testing a, a lot of my RC construction vehicles. And so I'm kind of fixing up the area that I dug a big hole with the excavator, the uh, Tanya uh, 1580. And uh, it worked out extremely well. I was very uh, I was very pleased with it. It did a great job. So today I'm just gonna be uh, straightening up this hole. I tried to put the dirt back in there with the excavator, but I was like, you know what? It'd be a good chance to take one of the dozers out and do that. So check out the 579 from Double E. Uh, I did a little bit of paint work on it, painted up the uh, the bucket and the arm and the top there and uh, also got rid of that that ripper that was on the back of it so uh, I figured I'd just do a little video and do some talking and stuff like that so let me uh, get the camera set up and stuff so I'm gonna turn the sound off So my friends, the other day I was asked, uh, why am I getting into the RC construction vehicles? Uh, that was a question that was asked. And I was like, well, you know, the reason why I'm getting into it is because I wanna do something different because I feel like sometimes when you do the same thing over and over again, you kind of get burned out a little bit. Of, you know, I do the crawler videos a lot and you know, I like the crawler videos. I like doing my crawling videos. They're, they're just a lot of fun for me. But, you know, sometimes I like to do other things than just just RC crawl. So I wanted to get into the construction vehicles because, you know, I've been kind of like very fascinated with them. I started watching a few videos last month on it and uh, I just thought it was really cool and everything. So I wanted to uh, kind of get into it. Of course, you know, I can't really afford those really high-end ones uh, that you see like from RC4 Drive and stuff. It just, uh, that's just way, kind of way out of my budget there to do something like that. So, uh, but you know, I, I'm also doing it to keep my hobby alive and keep it interesting and stuff and, and, and have new uh, content to the channel. So that's, you know, one of the reasons why I'm I'm doing it to have new content so you know that be stuff for you all to uh, watch and stuff like that I really love this excavator it's so it's so cool I mean, honestly but um, yeah I mean with the with the the thing about the construction vehicles I like is that you're able to uh, build things with these vehicles you're not just crawling over rocks and and uh, jumping over hills and stuff like that you're actually making things if it's just playing out in a flower bed or in your garden or you know building something it, it, i just find it really you know fascinating and uh so i just wanted to kind of try it out you know like i said i before i i done the rc construction stuff uh back in my early years of starting a hobby and uh, I just didn't get fully into it. And now I was like, you know what? I'm getting a little bit older and stuff, you know? I was like, you know, why not have some <laughs> some vehicles that I can actually do something with other than just drive around and go over rocks and stuff, you know? So, kind of reason why I'm doing it. And plus, you know, <laughs> this is so relaxing because you know, you can sit here the whole time and just run your vehicle and, and make a pathways and build houses and stuff. You know, clear out land and stuff like that. And I mean, this also gives you the opportunity to drive vehicles that you don't really get to drive, you know, without have to take special classes and stuff like that. You know, you just get out here and run the dozers or your excavators or stuff like that. Still getting the hang of this thing. It's a... Uh... But it definitely just, it's a cool thing to drive, honestly. It's just so cool.
You got a little bit of raindrops falling. That's why I'm under here. I mean, <laughs> this is a lot of fun, my friends. I mean, it, for, for, fun for me. It might not be fun for you all. You'd be like, oh, it was it's not really what my cup of tea is, not what I like doing. But, you know, we all do things different. You know, that's that what makes us different from everybody else is that we do things a little bit different. And, uh... So... But yeah, that's the kind of reason why I'm doing it, just to, you know, keep the hobby alive, try out other things than just what I am always doing. Take a little break from everything. Plus, you know, with being as hobby, you know, it lets you escape reality for a while, and that's what I like about this hobby is that you know, you just you can get out here, run your RCs, not think about what's going on with work or uh in the house or whatever you know you're just doing your thing i tell you my friends i really like this uh this dozer it's just, like i said it's just so much fun i do also want to talk about another thing that somebody uh pointed out to me that I do on the videos is that I, I tend to say stuff uh, the same stuff over and over again or I, I say the same thing you know and uh, somebody pointed it out to me and I was like okay you know thanks for telling me this I didn't realize I did that um, sometimes I don't realize that I say the same thing over and over until I uh, actually watch the uh, the uh, video there and I see oh okay I did say that over and over but uh you know like I said I just don't rem I don't remember saying it because you know I do have two disabilities that I suffer with every day and for it's gonna I'm gonna suffer for the rest of my life uh I have a learned uh learned disability and uh dyslexia and anybody who has that you know pretty much what I'm talking about kind of it really sucks you know I learned disabilities where you have trouble learning uh, certain skills and performing certain tasks and stuff. And uh, it can also affect your relationship skills, your basic skills. It can affect your, uh, you know, basic skills like writing, math, and, you know, stuff like that. Um, tying your shoes. It can affect your social skills, your relationship skills. It affects your short-term and long-term memory. For me, definitely my short-term memory is is gone I you know sometimes I just can't not remember things yeah you know, I, I do the same thing at work there's so sometimes uh, when I'm cutting the pipe and stuff that the, the uh, I, uh, my work partner would tell me the measure and I have like what was that measure again and so you have to repeat it a few times for me So I am truly sorry if I do say a lot of things over again in the video. I probably said it in this video too. I'm just kind of concentrating on running the dozer here and trying to flatten out this land before I have to take off and stuff. No, I could do it faster just by dragging my foot across the dirt there, but that wouldn't be fun, would it? That would, that would not be fun whatsoever. We're getting there but yeah like I said you know I I know I say a lot of things a lot in the video because like I said one person uh, called me out on saying friends a lot and I know he was you know this person was kind of just joking about it and that's cool you know that's all right you know it, it's good that people do call me out on that so I'll wait I'll know it's not to do that in my next video and stuff like that so that is good that people do that um, but sometimes people can be a little rude on here on any you know any basically platform 
they'll get uh, kind of rude with you and stuff like that. Um, and with them people, you just kind of have to just overlook them and say, you know what, do your own thing, you know, don't bash me because I'm doing something, you know, yeah, I might not be the best at it, but I'm doing it. We're getting there the more I run this dozer the more I can uh, learn the ability of controlling it that was a good hefty little dirt right there we're getting there But I kind of like doing this when you just get on here and uh, talking a little bit and just kind of expressing things and stuff like that. You know, I think it's, it's really good. There we go. Yeah, that's that's looking good now. Look how cool this dozer looks. That after I did just a little bit of paint work and removed that uh, that uh, ripper off the back of it, just makes it look a whole lot better. Now, somebody also did point out or ask me, did I get into construction vehicles of cosmetic from RC Adventures or Aaron? Uh, no, not, not whatsoever. Actually, I forgot all about Medic's videos uh, until I started getting back into the you know construction stuff there, and I was like, hey, he, I remember he did stuff like this. So I almost watch his videos and. But, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm not copying him in no way at all. Um, I'm not doing any gold rush or anything like that. Uh, you know, I'm doing this because I just, I kind of, I, I really like it. It's a lot of fun to, to do this stuff right here. You know, I'm just sitting right here under the shade and just pushing some dirt around, filling in that hole, which the uh, neighbor's cat would probably be over here tonight. I'm telling you, for a toy grade RC, this thing is very uh, very easy to move around. And uh, very responsive. And it is, it is strong. Again, I'm just really impressed with this dozer. Um, Yeah, so that's why I'm getting into the RC construction stuff. It's just, I mean, come on, how fun does this look? I mean, probably you're like, ah, eh, it's not really that fun. It looks very 
very boring, but you know, if you have a couple of people out here with you with doing, you know, the construction vehicles, it, it will be a little fun and stuff. Come on, you can't tell me this is this doesn't look fun. You probably will. You probably will say oh, it doesn't look fun, but it it is fun. Like I could be out here all day doing this. I think that thing just looks so good. And then I got a little uh, a little driver in there. I put in there, a little Jose. I call him. Definitely got to do some grading there, you know. That's a little high. Or, yeah. Bring it down a little bit. There we go. So another thing that I did on the dozer as well, since I had it took apart, is that I went ahead and undone the LED lights there. They're still there, but they're they're not plugged in. Or I actually cut the wires there because uh, you know it only came on when the the blade or the bucket was going up and down. So I wanted to get rid of that. So look at that thing. That thing is pushing some dirt. It's a strong little sucker. I'm telling you, this thing is very strong. If y'all are looking for a, a good uh, bulldozer that's going to do the job, then you definitely want to look at the 579 here. This thing is awesome. They also have another version of this one that's uh, it's got the higher track, kind of like a D10 Caterpillar look to it. And uh, I couldn't really find that one other than only on... Uh, wish i have to find the the number of it so you can actually uh look for it but that one was really cool same the same setup really uh just you know kind of has that d10 cat look to it so it might be one of my vehicles that i might look at getting uh later on So, yeah. But anyway, my friends, I'm going to go ahead and finish up doing this myself. And uh, it's been great talking with y'all. You know, sometimes, you know, I just like to get on and talk about things, you know. And I, I need to work on a few things here on the channel. Work on, you know, not, uh, not trying to repeat myself over on a few things. If I say something, I need to realize I said it kind of train myself a little bit more, you know. Uh, it, it's just sometimes hard for, you know, for me. And getting in front of the camera and talking is also another uh, thing I challenge uh, with is getting in front of that camera because, you know, I could practice all day on it, on what I'm going to say, but then I get in front of that camera and I'm like, what was I going to say? <laughs> So I had to work on that. But anyway, my friends, I just want to say thank y'all for watching. And I will see y'all later.